hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is just gonna be a full face soft glam for you guys you guys know i love my soft glams so if you want to see how i achieve this beautiful look right here then just continue to watch all right guys so i'm starting off with my maybelline brow slim i love this eyebrow pencil it is perfect for those of you who have eyebrows but just want to kind of define them and just um, clean them up or add a bit of hair strokes to it that's what i love about this pencil because it's not too big and it literally fills in any parts of my brows that need to be filled in so now i'm just brushing it out and just preparing it to be concealed and i'm taking i believe that's my fenty concealer and i'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the bottom portion of my brows and as you guys can see i'm using a flat brush to do that and so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side and as you guys can see i do brush the product down because i am going to be blending it out all right so now i'm blending it out and you can see that i'm blending it onto my eyelids because i am going to be taking that same concealer to conceal my eyelids so here i'm just doing the same thing repeating the same steps to the top portion of my brows so I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl Brow Gel. I've been using this as of lately because I just love the finish of my brows when I use this. I can't believe I haven't been using this ever since I started makeup. So um, I've been loving this product. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my face. I'm going to go ahead and prime it with my NYX Shine Killer Primer. I actually used to use this and then I stopped and then obviously i'm using it again now um i've been feeling that it's been working for me so i just concentrate that in my t-zone um specifically my nose and my smile line so now i'm taking the same concealer and using that to prime my eyelids and i'm just going to take the same brush that i use as well to blend it out and i'm going to dip into my laura mercier translucent setting powder and just set that concealer in place so that my base is perfect for my eyeshadow guys i'm using the nyx swear by palette i feel like i haven't used this in so long but i'm gonna go ahead and dip into that orangey yellow shade and i'm just gonna brush that all over my lids guys i'm not even focusing it any particular place on my eyes i'm just brushing that all over so i'm gonna dip into the dark brown shade and i'm gonna focus that in my crease so literally where my eye folds, I'm just going to use windshield wiper motions and kind of blend that out. And I'm going to make sure that the two colors are blended seamlessly together. So I'm going to dip into that goldish shade and I'm going to basically put it on my eyelids. Um, and I'm kind of going to create a cut crease without cutting my crease guys so this is honestly perfect for those of you who are new to eyeshadow and haven't mastered the cut crease i kind of created my own and then i'm just gonna add that green shade to the outer portion of my eyelids just to add some color to the look and then to finish up the eye look just blend everything together and that is about it for the eyeshadow guys pretty simple and easy you could do this in literally two minutes all right, so for liner, I'm taking my Vasanti Cleopatra eyeliner and just creating a classic wing liner. If you guys want a wing liner tutorial, let me know. I'll do one for you guys. All right, so I did apply my lashes off camera so we're moving on to complexion i'm taking my nyx can't stop won't stop concealer and just concealing all of my dark areas and i'm going to use my body blender guys this is if you're wondering why it's so big it is a body blender i've actually been liking this to blend out my concealer and foundation I'm just going to use that and just conceal all of my dark areas. And now I'm applying my foundation. I believe this was the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. And I'm using the Quo foundation brush. At first it does look like it's not my shade, but it does um, set. And then, what's the word? I forget the word that you use. 
Anyways, I'm applying my concealer. This is the Fenty Concealer in 390, I believe, and I am gonna mix it with the 420 as well, just to kind of dim that orange um, look. And I'm just applying it under my eyes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my uh, body blender. Like I said, I actually been loving this to blend out my concealer. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Matte Stick and just cream contour my cheekbones. And of course, we're gonna blend that out. And I'm using the bottom end of my body blender to blend it out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set everything in place. I'm taking my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to dab that powder into all of the areas I highlighted. This is just to make sure that my makeup is set in place. Always wanna set everything when you're using a liquid or a cream, you always wanna set it with a powder. So that's what I'm doing here as well with my contour. And I'm gonna clean it up because I've been liking that sharp contour as of lately, I don't know. <laughs> So now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and do my liner. No, I'm always dancing. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that brown shade to my waterline. And guys, I've been loving the inner corner liner as of recently as well. So that's what you guys see me doing here. You guys have to be very careful when you're doing this, honestly. Um, took me a while to kind of master it, but I've been loving this look. It kind of makes my eyes look a bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and dust that powder away. Make sure that there is no cast left. And I'm going to move on to blush. So that's the Catrice blush in the shade of burgundy that I'm just applying. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter. I believe that's the Maybelline Master Chrome. Just add a bit of glow to my face. Yes, girl, look at that glow. Add it to my nose, my forehead, and my jaw. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray everything in place. And I believe that's the Rimmel Stay Matte um, spray. So moving on to lips, I'm gonna go ahead and line it with my Kiss New York Lip Liner. Apply my Quo Lip Gloss. All the information for what I'm using will be in the description box below. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Stila Liquid Lipstick just to kind of tone down that color. And guys, that's literally about it. Pretty quick and simple makeup tutorial, full face, full glam. Anyone could do it, I promise. But if you guys wanna see more of this, please give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.